As anyone who's tried to find their way around the School of Xbox campus without an official school map will know, a keen grasp of navigation is incredibly important. This is even true of the Xbox Live dashboard, where there's so much great content to explore and discover that it can seem a little bewildering at first. But don't worry, that's where I'm here to be your guide. First up, there are three ways you can explore the new dashboard, with the traditional controller, and if you have Kinect, gestures, or even your voice. All three methods are seamlessly integrated, so it's quite possible to switch between all three at will. If you opt for the controller, it's wise to use the left thumbstick to highlight content in a channel. But for efficient channel-to-channel -channel navigation, you should reach for the left and right bumpers on the controller, also known as the LB and RB buttons. Press those and you'll be channel hopping like a pro. Another new addition to the dash is rotating slots, or carousels as shown here. Now, let's say something's caught your eye, but it's moved on to the next piece of content before you reach it. You don't have to wait for it to cycle through again, just highlight the slot and flick the right thumbstick left and right to manually change it. It's still just a case of pressing the button to activate the highlighted content if you want to launch it, and hitting the B button if you want to return to where you were. If you'd rather keep things hands-free, you should consider gesture control. First up, you'll need to have a Kinect sensor set up on your console. Then, just wave your hand to activate. You can then use your hand to navigate the cursor around the screen. Just hold it over the slot of your choice to activate it. If you want to skip to another channel, just reach out to the left or right and swipe towards the center of the screen. The final and cleverest alternative of all for Kinect owners is voice navigation. Yep, that's right, you can control the entire dash using just your voice. Just say Xbox and you'll be shown every voice command currently available on the channel you're on. If you can see it, you can say it. If the prompts are still on screen, there's no need to say Xbox again. This means that you can navigate back and forth between channels until you've actually performed an action, such as Xbox inside Xbox, which you'll obviously be saying a lot. In time, you'll be using general voice commands without prompting like Xbox Next, Xbox Previous, and Xbox Play Disc, but the text prompts will always be there to remind you. So there you have it, three ways to get around the Xbox Live dashboard to discover exactly what you're after. Don't forget to check the School of Xbox archive regularly to discover even more great tips and don't be afraid to contact School of Xbox at live.co.uk, making sure to include your gamertag if you have a question you'd like to see us answer in a future lesson.